So continuing on to the other sub jobs I have below, this one, what this one will do is what happens if you were to flip the input. So you have this one as main input and then this one is just a lookup reference. In that case, all 99 rows are going to have something that it can pair with here. So there is no rejected row. There's no difference between the two. So as a result, uh, you get zero rows here. Looking at this one, um, if you if you took the source of information for this row generated from the mapping to be this row here, the output would be zero rows. Again, that is because that this is all the rejects between uh, these two um, uh, inputs here and there are no um, differences because everything matches up with the main input. So what happens if you were to flip that on its head? Well in the same case you would have zero rows. Even though there is one row and difference between these two, all a hundred rows here are still the main uh, source information. This is getting the rejected rows this maps to all 100 here, so there are no rejects uh, in this row here. Looking at the bottom one, there is another option in the mapping called catch output reject. And I'll show you in a Google, Google Doc what that means.